Hey everybody, Ted back today with another video. Before I get into it, just wanted to remind you that yes, my mega super duper giveaway is still going on. That's right, this six pack of quilted northern toilet paper could be yours. All you have to do is click the subscribe button, click the bell icon to get new notifications when videos become available, click the thumbs up icon on this video, and leave a comment down below, something civil of course, and you will be entered to win this great, great, great prize in these somewhat uncertain times. And let's get into it. So today I wanted to talk about what you can do at home for photography when we're all stuck at home. And one of the areas of photography I love is macro photography. But on the Nikon Z system, you're kind of in a pickle at the moment. Unless you already own a Nikon F macro lens, there is no native Z mount lens for macro photography. Now, if you have the FTZ adapter, you can of course use the 60 millimeter Nikkor uh, macro lens or the 105 millimeter macro lens by Nikon. And those are great lenses, but they're both kind of expensive. But there are a few other options. One of which is that you can use this little extension tube set made by the good people over at Mikey, the MKZ AF1. And this allows you to use your native Nikon Z mount glass as a macro lens. And the way that works is simple. First, we'll take the extension tubes out. And what you get in this set is a set of two extension tubes, an 11 millimeter and an 18 millimeter extension tube that can be used together or separately with your native Nikon Z glass. And to demonstrate that, I've got my Nikon Z7 here with the 3518S lens, and I'll just take this lens off. Take the caps off. Attach that to the body, attach lens to the tube and you are good to go. Now as I said these extension tubes they basically just take the minimum focusing distance of this lens and greatly reduce it. Now how much they reduce it to will depend upon the lens itself. On this 35 millimeter 1.8 s the minimum focus distance is literally just a few millimeters. On my 85 millimeter 1.8 S, it's probably uh, about uh, ooh, probably about 20 between 15 and 20 millimeters, so it's a bit further. Uh, that's why I like using it with the 35 1.8. You can get really really close to your subjects, and uh, I'll show you that now with the few photos I've taken over the last couple days. So take a look. <music> That's it. That's the Mikey MKZ AF1 extension tube set. And it retails for about $40 on Amazon. I have a link down below in the description that you can use if you want to pick one up yourself. And I highly recommend it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think you will too if you enjoy macro photography. 
So thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get new notifications when videos are available. And I will see you in the next one.